What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. I got a Lego haul today. Um, we got some really cool pieces here. A couple of them you're really going to like. You can see a couple. There's a few surprises in there. So let's get started. New poly bag. I got this stack from uh, Target. So if you're interested, get on Target. You know, $5 poly bags. This is the new Star Wars one for the year. Not bad. I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I collect poly bags. No special minifigs, so aside from it having that little logo there, if you're a collector of everything for the 25th anniversary, it's not going to go up in price, but it's a nice poly bag. Next one, finally found this Venom set. It took forever to find this. Yeah, Target. So that knocks another one of the poly bags off the set. Now I just need to find that Speed Champions poly bag for this year. It's the only one that I haven't seen yet to buy anywhere in stores. Walmart, Amazon, Target, any of the other places that usually would have some kind of Lego. Anyway, there's your set number. Yeah. Now this one I got on sale. It's a brand new set and it's already on sale. I think it's just a few dollars off. Nothing like 20% or so. But anyway, for me, it's a parts pack. I like the guy in it. Those crystals are nice. Just a lot of good building parts uh, for mocks, at least in my mind. I'm not a mech guy, but uh, yeah, I think for the price, it's decent. A few dollars for the minifig by himself and the rest. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So we'll part this out. There's some good pieces here I can use for some future builds and kind of just go from there. This one, same thing on sale. The new set, I think this came out, what, January 1st? I needed another war machine. The one I have, I think he's a special edition one, so I'd rather just have this one with my collection of all the the Avengers in kind of a row of or all of them on my custom Avengers tower. But anyway, yeah, I don't know if I'll build the mech or not. Kind of looking at indecisive. It's got a lot of great parts, those dark gray colors and yeah that's kind of why i'm indecisive about building this or just using them because i know i can use these parts on something but yeah he'll go on my avengers tower and if you hadn't seen my avengers tower yeah it's the custom one mine's about a foot taller than the official one i built mine in 2020 so man this thing's four years old already and yeah mine does actually hold the quinjet unlike that little mini quinjet but yeah, there's my other war machine there. We'll take him off, put him back. And yep. You can see mine's a little bit different. Base is different. I also have garages in the back for the garage doors to hold some of Tony's <laughs> cars. So yeah, that's my Avengers Tower. If you haven't already seen it. All right, the last thing. Yeah, it was on sale too. These cherry blossom trees, just cherry blossom. I call them trees because I buy these, I build them, and then I add a bunch of pieces to them, like those, and fill them out to make actual trees for a springtime look, and I put them all on my farm. So just like this, you just add a bunch of that lime green or whatever light green color that is, you fill them out. You can do the same with these. You make them as tall or as short as you want, and they just look like good spring trees. Yeah, I'm happy with it, so I just figured I'd buy a few more if they're going to be on sale. Since I paid full price for the others, I might as well get one on sale. All right, what's in this little... I got this little haul from BrickLink. This was not in the hall. That's just a stand because I know there's something in here. So I think I found a hole. Surprised all the pieces stayed. Okay, so yellow fence. Sadly, I only needed two of these, but the guy that was selling them, you had to buy, I think, in quantities of 10. So that's why I have 10 yellow fence pieces. What I do with them, I may have had to buy 20. I don't honestly remember. What I do with them, I really don't know. I mean, you can use them for construction scene stuff or turn them sideways for like a window or something. There's plenty of options, but I needed them 
for a tractor build that probably very, very few people have ever seen. So here's a, an old minifig, the original style minifig with no face, no uh, arms. Same thing with this one. This was the reason I went to the store because the guy had this and yeah, it looks like it's got some stuff on it. But yeah, that goes on one of the old tractors from a 1970s uh, build that I'm working on, trying to piece together every single tractor Lego has ever made. And I'm just about there. I've said that in the past and I found another one. So yeah, some weird pieces. Yeah, we had to have one of these. The cylinder with no hole in it. Okay. Let's see here. Here's one of those special pieces. And you can see he wrapped it up very well. Yep, that's a Lego tree. The granulated Lego tree. Let's see if it says Lego on it. No, it does not. At least on there. Anyway, yeah, those are just like glued on. Believe that. So that's why I got the standouts. Because it'll sit there. All right, let's move a couple things. And yeah, you get the hint. They're so, they're, they weren't super expensive. I say super expensive. I think they were like eight bucks a tree. So it's super expensive compared to some of the other things, like a spruce tree that's like 20 to 30 bucks. There's our granulated tree. Really wish they said Lego on them. But man, imagine, I guess they just dipped those in a glue or adhesive and then stuck it down in there. You think the person had to go back and fill in holes by hand? <laughs> So there's our two granulated trees. Or a bush and a tree. Coolest part of that. And then, like I said, yeah, there's our pieces to go with this to help fill out one of these trees. I think I bought 30. Maybe I only bought like 20-something of them. But yeah, that'll help fill out, close to fill out one tree. I need a few more pieces to fill out one. But that's what that is. And with that... That fills out, or completes, our little Lego haul. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Have you seen these before? I know you've probably seen some of the other designs. The granulated one was a newer one for me. It's kind of a weird piece. But, oh yeah, I forgot to show these, what these four are. They're the, the angle. That goes on a Lego tractor, a trailer for a tractor. That I'm working on so if you guys have any questions let me know there's the trailer there's the tractor with the <laughs> and the the blue top so that's the set I'm working on what set number was this oh 911 <laughs> all right thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one see ya